In this Business Tech Planet video, we'll show you how to send emails to channel members using the channel email address. First, we're introducing the new Master Microsoft Teams eBook. It's free to download for all our newsletter readers. And you get all the essentials needed to get up and running in Microsoft Teams, including clear steps and images to guide you through the process. You'll learn how to create and manage Teams channels. Access and participate in Teams meetings. And you'll also gain access to some advanced techniques, such as creating workflows with Power Automate and vital security policies to safeguard against data leaks. To start mastering Microsoft Teams, just hit the link and download your free copy. In Microsoft Teams, each channel has a unique email address, which you can find by clicking the three dots next to the channel and selecting Get Email Address. Anyone can use the address to send messages directly to the channel from their email client. But channel email addresses don't work as most people expect, because emails sent to this address won't be received in the channel members' inboxes. Instead, messages only appear in the channel, as shown in this demonstration. But with Power Automate, we can make emails land in the inboxes of your channel members, which means your channel email will work like a real email address. Before heading over to Power Automate, go to Chat in your Teams app, and click the new chat icon, located at the top of the chat list. Then add the channel members, or whoever you want to receive the channel emails. And be sure to send a test message to ensure the group chat is created and ready to use. We've already made a group chat called Project Emails, but you can change the chat's name easily by clicking the pen icon at the top. And to add or remove chat members, click the participants icon in the top right. Once your group chat is set up, head to make.powerautomate.com and sign in. In Power Automate, click Create in the left menu. Then select Automated Cloudflow. Or head to My Flows. New Flow. And select Automated Cloudflow. Next, enter a name for the flow. This can be anything, but we'll call ours Project Emails. Then search for Message. And select when a new channel message is added. Now head down and click Create. The first step is to select the channel we're sending emails to. To do that, click the trigger. Then, click the select box under Team, and choose the team the channel belongs to. Click the select box under Channel, and choose the channel. With this trigger, the flow will run whenever a new message is added to the email's channel. But we also need to determine if it's a regular channel message or an email. To do that, click the plus icon under the trigger, and select Add an Action. On the left, click Control. Then choose Condition. To check whether the new channel message is an email or not, click the input box that says Choose a Value. Then click the expression icon, illustrated by FX. In the input box at the top, type Trigger. Body, with a capital B. Open and close parentheses. Next, type a question mark. Open and close square brackets. Two single quotes. Then inside the quotes, type attachments. After, type a question mark. Open and close square brackets. And type a zero inside. Add another question mark at the end. Then square brackets. Single quotes. And inside the quotes, type content URL, with a capital U. Now head down and click add. Next, click the select box that says is equal to. Then select Contains. And type email messages in the input box labeled Choose a Value. Be sure to capitalize the first letters of email and messages. With the condition complete, we can now determine if the new channel message is a regular message or an email. If it's an email, the condition will return true, so click the plus icon under True, and select Add an Action. The next step is to get the email addresses of the members we want to send the email to. To do that, search for members at the top. Then head down and select list members. Under thread type, choose group chat. And when the group chat select box appears, click it and select the group you made earlier. This list will contain the members of the group and their email addresses. With this information, we can now click the plus icon below the list and select add an action. This time, Search for email at the top. 
then go down and select send an email, under Office 365 Outlook. Next, click the top input box, which is where we need to enter the group chat members email addresses. Select enter a custom value. Click the lightning bolt icon. Then, under list members, select list of members email. To get the subject, click the input box under subject, and click the lightning bolt icon. Now head across and click see more, next to when a new channel message is added. Then scroll to the bottom, and select message subject. To get the email's contents, click the text area under body, and click the lightning bolt. Again, click see more next to the trigger. Then, select message body content at the top. With that done, you can now head up and save the flow. Now, let's head back to Teams and copy the channel's email address. We'll send another email to the channel using the address. This time, we've received the channel email in our Outlook inbox. To check if the email was sent successfully to all group members, head back to Power Automate. Click back. Then head down and check the run history. If the flow hasn't run yet, you may need to wait, as the default interval between checking for new messages is 5 minutes. Our flow ran successfully, and we can investigate further by clicking the run. When the run opens, click condition. Then scroll down and click for each. Click send an email. Now click next, which allows us to look through each sent email, where we can confirm that the channel email was sent to all members. That's all for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And for important Microsoft news and updates, and a chance to win prizes, be sure to hit the link in the description, and join our newsletter today.